What the hell? Jason Momoa shaved off his beard? Who? Jason Momoa. Did he really? Yeah. He did it. I guess he was filming something and he did it right on. Look at him. That's a good looking man right there. I wish I looked that good when if I shaved off my beard. <laughs> you look like a child when you shave off I your beard. I look like, yeah, I look like, I look like LL Cool J light. <laughs> Double the calories and less filling. <laughs> Everybody, welcome to another episode of Geeks That Lift, where we bring you everything from wrestling, horror, geek verse, you name it, we're gonna cover it. I am one of your hosts, Mark the Freaking Weekend Williams, joined by Coco Nut. <laughs> nice little segue. You like that? Little pause. It was the Coco Nut. Not not Coco Nut. Nut. Coco Nut. Nut. I'm all about the nut. I'm not going to spell right. it today because, you know. You're, you're going to give the people a break from the spelling? I'm tired. Yeah. You're tired? Yeah. Yeah. If you don't know how to fucking spell it by, by now, now. <laughs> you know, after 10 episodes, by the way, Wait, this, this is, is our 10th episode. episode. Go to uh, number nine and listen and you'll hear man, the spelling. I'm so, it, yeah, go over the last nine episodes. <laughs> and if you don't know how to spell it by now, I mean, you know, uh, come on, <laughs> come on. So We're 10 episodes did. deep. <laughs> Somebody's like, how do they spell that? Yeah. How do you spell it? You're not a fan then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to start off today with a little bit of news like we always do. Yeah, we do. Um, first, in the news world, in the geek verse, mm -hmm. I guess we have our first casualty of the Disney acquisition of Fox. Oh, the, yeah. Uh, I read about gifted. this. The Gifted was canceled. The Gifted is gone. Yeah. <laughs> now, did you ever, I saw maybe a couple of episodes of the first one. Yeah. And then I kind of just fell off of it. I watched the whole first season. Did it was it good. Better? I liked it. Better? Yeah, it, it did. did. It did. It got. It got a lot better. There was. There was some promise, but I mean, not enough promise that it made me tune in for yeah. season two. Yeah. So I mean, you know, I and I'm a big. I'm a big X Men fanatic. I love the fucking X Men movies. I love the X Men comics. And Wolverine is my favorite X Men. Blah blah blah. Jeez. But you know, it's. Uh, it's it's also the 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 Brian Singer X Men universe, which you know, yeah. enough's enough. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, I I'm not sad about it. I'm not sad about it. We need to start with a clean slate, and we will. I think because I think if that's the case, they're probably going to end up uh, the one on um, Hulu. The what is it? Runaways. That's another Marvel. The show. Runaways is another Marvel show. They'll probably end that one up. Uh, no, 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 not really. I mean, Runaways. Well, Runaways is, is Runaways is. I don't. I don't think that has. Runaways is a totally separate storyline. I don't mm. think it's mutants. Isn't Runaways? Runaways is storyline. I mean, I, I'm not too familiar with it, but I'm pretty sure that it's the kids. Of villains, villains, yes, finding out their parents are fucked up villains, yes, and then they form like their own little little troop of little, heroes, little hero squad, yeah. So I mean, yeah, that doesn't have anything to do with the X Men movie. So, um, I'm okay, I'm okay with it. First casualty down, nobody's really worried about. That's it. That's all right. Um, another note. The first yes. teaser for the Star Wars. The first teaser for the Star. Yeah, I know, uh, I know, I, 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 you know. Sorry, I just came again. <laughs> All right. Star Wars is my shit. Star Wars is my shit. So, I mean, the trailer was awesome. I, what'd you think of it? I, I liked it, especially a little hint at the end of who's coming back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, uh, it's not really, it's not really a, 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 it's a hint. They pretty much came out. Yeah, but, <laughs> it's well, pretty blatant. You got to be a star. Some people are like, there are people on Facebook. Who was the guy laughing at the end? Mike, how do you guys not know who was <laughs> laughing mama. at the end? Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, no, no. No, it was cool. I'm for Palpatine or, you know, Darth Sidious, whatever the hell you want to call him. him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he, he's coming back. And uh, both J.J. Abrams and, uh, shit, I hope is Ian McDormand. Is the guy that played him? Mm -hmm. Both both confirmed that that Emperor Palpatine is coming back. back. So <laughs> I'm excited, man. What a, what I'm excited. They're gonna court hopefully they course correct the abortion that was last Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully. Well, because this one, the funny thing is none of the actors knew the name of the film when they were done rapping. No, no, yeah. Nobody knew. So when they saw it, everybody like they were trying to get hints from the actors and mm -hmm. like, we don't fucking know. 
Like yeah. we didn't we didn't know the name of the of the movie until we found out just like you guys. Yeah. So the thing is the rise of Skywalker, it's kind of like hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. And now that, that raises all sorts of questions. Yeah. It's like Rise of Skywalker, then who's the fucking Skywalker? Is it gonna be Ray? Or is it gonna be, you know, I I I don't know, but if I were to guess, I'm thinking that this with a direct, direct lineage line with Luke and Vader and and Leia and all that, the direct one, they've got to go straight with Kylo. Kylo, right? So my guess is that this Jesus is gonna be God. this is the, the 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 end story is like, you know. The rise, fall, and then rise again of of Kylo. Oh, okay. Or Ben. Ben. You know. Uh, so we'll see. Ben Solo. Um, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I, I, I'm I, I'm stoked about it. You know. It, it, I, also, rumor has it that J.J. Abrams actually went back and talked to George Lucas. Okay. Just so that way he can he can fix some of the continuity errors and that? shit that the last movie did. It, I'm telling you, I. Uh, I don't know if I've said it before. I know I've said it in private. I know I've said it to other people. I don't know if I've said it on the show, but I think Ryan Johnson was the worst thing that have ever happened to the fucking Star Wars wow. saga. They okay. never should have given him anything, anything to do with the fucking any Star Wars movies. He's fucking writing another trilogy right now. For Star Wars? Yes. Yes, because this is the last movie in the Skywalker saga. Oh, yeah. okay. That's it. After this, they're wrapping everything up. So, they so when they new- start a new, they're going to start a new saga, new characters, new everything. But I think Ryan Johnson just fucked up Last Jedi. Oh, he yeah. was like, oh, yeah, we got this, we got that. We got, you know what? I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to do that instead. I'm going to do this instead. It just, it just fell flat. When fucking Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker himself, was like was having problems with the director. Yeah. And he was like, I don't think Luke would do this. <laughs> Director's like, you're going to do this anyway. He was like, all right, I'll do it because I'm getting paid. But, you know, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's just, it was just, and you could tell the tone was off with the whole, with the whole Last Jedi, well, the last it, movie. It, it just seems like there was a lot of, of, of filler shit. Not enough, like, shit. It was to, just, it was the one with the ships following them. And it's like, that was a long ass, like, chase scene in space that could have been done in five minutes. Dude. It's yeah, and it, it's just it's just some some shit like you know I love Adam Driver. Yeah, you know I think he plays Kyle Ren awesome. I've been a fan since that you know the show Girls, which you know kind of makes me a girl, but <laughs> that's all right. But <laughs> you know, you're and then all the all the corresponding movies and shit and roles that he's played since playing Kylo Ren, um, I think he's awesome. But I think one, one a, a big mistake that they did in the movie last year where they destroyed his helmet. Yeah, like he, he bashed his fucking helmet in, and in the rest of the movie he's. Either no helmet. He's no helmet or shirtless, which yeah. that was just weird. Yeah, but um, but when she's looking at him and they're just looking yeah, at yeah, each other, just, they're just looking at him. that's just strange. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, you know that. Then we have you know the whole shit with, with Luke Skywalker. That was just that was just it. It was just uneven and weird. Yeah. Then um, what else? What else? What else? There, there was something on the whole thing with Ray. You know, they started off. J.J. Abrams started on Force Awakens. Yes, the whole mystery with Ray. Her parents left her. Mm-hmm. All that other shit. Then in Last Jedi, Kylo Ren was like, "Oh no, your parents were nobodies. They were just shit." Yeah, you're you're a nobody, and you know it was just like, I don't know. It was just it was just weird. It was almost like they were trying to like make it like like a like an empire. Yeah. Um, of this this trilogy, and it just it just fell flat. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, this course correct. You know, people are thinking that you know Ray is going to be that that, that the maybe Skywalker. they're going to retcon. Um this and you know that maybe she is a skywalker well it could be the way they could do it and hopefully they do it is like the same thing with with luke skywalker that he thought his parents were farmers yeah so they could do it that way i mean that'd, yeah. be, that'd be one of the best ways Hanging to kind of course glowing cor- in that brew yeah that'd be the only good way to course correct it's where it's like she almost follows in the same footstep as her yeah, father whatever man but then you know then they're gonna have to it's gonna they're gonna have to take a whole you're gonna have a whole new movie to fucking make in order to yeah. explain all that shit yeah and then you find out that fucking you know, her and Kylo are fucking brother and sister no. or whatever, man. <laughs> Good old Ben. A little incest going on because they have that, well, Luke, that connection. Luke, Luke made out with Leia, so I mean... It's, Luke it, did make out with it, Leia. It's in the family already, But, you man. know, Leia was the one that hit him first, so... Yeah, true, yeah. Well, he did want to fuck her in Star Wars, the original <laughs> Star Wars, New Hope. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. So, you know, and of course, the one scene where... I just actually I'm getting a semi right now. Lando Calrissian. Yes, laughing. Billy D. Williams, man. <laughs> Billy D. The coolest black man in the galaxy. <laughs> Flying the Millennium Falcon. Falcon. Come on. Come on. <laughs> that that whole that whole fucking trailer from beginning to end. Just did it for you. It just did it. It just did it for me. Fucking, you know, they're they're walking in the landscape. They see, you know, the the the, the rubble of the, the Death Star. Star. Come on. It was just 
It was awesome. It was awesome. A hundred percent. I can't wait. I I'm can't wait. Like so we'll see. Hopefully it won't be, you know, all hype and all like force, and, like force, like the bunk. Yeah. Last Jedi. Yeah. 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 I, I'm telling you, I, there was, I just, I tried so hard to like last Jedi, but then, you know, and, and then the fucking the build up with Snoke and yeah. force awakens only to fucking kill, kill him like that. Just like that. Yeah. It was just, I, I, yeah. 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 I, you know what? I could talk about that bullshit movie for a whole hour, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Um, you know, with the segueing into Star Wars, the uh, they revealed uh, the new Star Wars game. Yes, that's coming the out. The guy who um, is it Jeremiah Cameron Monaghan, the guy who plays the Joker in Gotham. Um, yeah, and also plays in a uh, from Shameless. Shameless. He yeah. plays the main character, character the, yeah. the, the the Jedi in the game. That's, that's pretty fucking cool. That is awesome. <laughs> that, that is, is cool. awesome. Yeah, uh, I guess uh, the game, it's, it's you know, the storyline is he's one of the, the Jedis that um, that survived Order 66. Okay. So he didn't get killed, massacred, but, you know, he's got to hide out and there's going to be all sorts of missions and shit. And he has this cool little droid that he, you know, wears as a backpack. And <laughs> um, So they showed some gameplay, uh, not really gameplay, but cutscenes uh, for it. They, they did like a Star Wars celebration thing this past weekend. Yeah. Some kind of like a con or some shit like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where, I mean, I saw pictures and I mean, it was fucking sweet. They had this huge like mural with all the Star Wars characters. Oh, shit. They had a fucking scale model TIE fighter, a scale model X-Wing fighter, you know, of course, all sorts of cosplayers. So they made, you know, they made a bunch of announcements, reveals and shit. Yeah, Star Wars Celebration. I know. I just forgot what it was called. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what IT guy jumping out? You know, <laughs> May the 4th is coming out. Yeah, May the 4th right, be with right you. Right around the corner. So, yeah, it's, I, you know what? Um, I'm excited for the game. I'm excited for the movie. Just excited. Just excited all I'm around. Excited. Yeah. All around. I'm so tired right now from being excited. <laughs> <laughs> I think anything is better than Solo and fucking Force Awakens, huh? Listen, Solo was Solo was was okay. Solo for for what it was, it was yeah. You know, I, I saw it. I was. I, I mean, it was like it was like a fan fiction movie. It was a, it was a throwaway movie. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. It was a throw yeah, yeah. They wanted to do another Star Wars movie. Well, we can't do it this way. You know what? Take this shit. Here's the thing. I I I I did. I don't. I don't know how to. I don't know how to explain. It's there's there was just so many there was just so many things. There were some cool moments. Okay, you know like. Chewie and Han first meeting. Well, that yeah, that was cool. You it know, explains it. Fucking Han getting the the, the Millennium Falcon. Uh, I like Donald Glover as Lando yeah, Calrissian. Well, he hammed it up huge. Yeah. Um. You know, I liked the the Darth Maul cameo at the end. You know, little yes. stinger. But yeah, that's about it. You yeah. know, Woody Harrelson was there in, in, in it. I, I don't know Woody what, Harrelson and everything. But he didn't, I didn't have, like him in this movie. Yeah, he just, didn't have a just, place in that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just I don't know. I, don't I didn't know. even like just, the chick from Game of Thrones in this in, in the movie. Yeah, I mean, she was kind of like. She was kind of like, I'm like, eh, kind of like Lisa. Yeah. So, I, you know, it was, yeah, you know, it was, no. Yeah. No, I saw it in theaters. I, I haven't seen it again. So, and I probably won't watch it unless there's absolutely literally nothing, nothing else, else to watch on. ever. And I'm flipping channels. And even then I might just watch a cooking show or something. <laughs> it's fucked up. Watching Cake Wars and shit. I'll watch Cake Wars. I like cake. So speaking of actually segueing from, uh, from, from that, I don't know if we talked about it. I think we talked about it last time, but we'll probably not. But, you know, we know that the actually the full length Child's Play trailer. Yes. Just dropped today or yesterday. It just dropped within the last 24 hours. Uh, it looks pretty good uh, from what I, you know, from what I've seen. But then again, I'm one of the guys that will give a remake a chance. Yes. Where everybody else is like, no, you're raping my childhood. <laughs> Shut up, man. Your childhood is fine. <laughs> Ain't nobody diddling you. Um, <laughs> wow. But, you know, they uh, they actually showed uh, Chucky, what he yes. looks like. And, you know, Mark Hamill is animated. voicing him. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, um, the other podcast that I do, The Terror Trio, which could be found, you know, anywhere that you listen to podcasts. Uh, we were talking about uh, Micah decided to, he wanted to, he tried to talk us into uh, or convince us that they, they retconned Chucky's face. They they made him look and I designed him now to look a little more like Mark Hamill. I don't fucking see it. I, I, I didn't see but, it in the picture at all. You know, I, I mean, if you look at the picture, let me see. I can I can actually pull him up right now. I mean, that's what he looks like. Yeah, I don't see that looking like I don't see him Mark looking Hamill. like Mark Hamill at all. At all. But you know, we'll see. But, you know, again, you know, they're doing they're doing a remake. They're not using Brad Dorif, who's the original voice of Chucky. 
Uh, Mark Hamill, I'm all for it. Yes. Uh, what the hell's her name? Fuck, I forgot her name. Aubrey Plaza's in it. Okay. So she plays the mom. Oh. Yeah. Total MILF. Oh. Total, yeah, MILF. total MILF. I love me some Aubrey Plaza. Who Aubrey Plaza was also in Legion. The Also the, 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 the Fox, the Fox FX show, show yeah. X-Men show. Yeah, that was terrible. I watched half of an episode of that one. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. In um, CW News, okay? Yes. Have you caught up with any of the shows on the CW? I've caught up with pretty much all of them with the, I mean, with the exception of whatever premiered this week. All right, so you didn't get to see the Wolf One with Flash with uh, Godspeed? They finally put him in the show? New. Yeah. Okay, so you ruined it for me. Thank you. It's the, the episode is called Godspeed. Oh, <laughs> the episode is called Godspeed. <laughs> Not that I ruined it. The episode says it all. Wait, wait, did the Flash already, sh- they already, they already premiered it? Yeah, already premiered Oh, it's on my DVR. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you got a lot of shows to fucking Motherfucker, man. I got to do my homework before we start, <laughs> before we start recording. <laughs> <It's funny. laughs> All right. It is, it is, it is, it's really, it was interesting. That's what I'll say. You, I'll wait until you see it and you give yeah. me your judgment on it. I'll watch it this week. Yeah. It was yeah. interesting. And then we'll, uh, you know, we'll talk about it next episode. It's, it's good that they're bringing a little bit more of the character based, like comic book characters more into the show now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, so. that's good. That's good. I mean, well, they need to do something. I, I, you know what? I, out of all the, I, I think I've said it before, but out of all the CW shows, the flash is my favorite show. Yeah. Out of all of them. And a close second only because it's just bubblegum stupid goodness is uh, Legends of Tomorrow. Legends of Tomorrow. I love me some Legends of Tomorrow. It's just so <laughs> dumb. <laughs> I just love it. But um, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm all for it. And, you know, Arrow with Arrow ending next season. Yes. Then it's going to be, you know, whatever. But, oh, yeah, actually, I got that in news. Man, we are segueing. We we're are going, riffing. We're going right we into all the going news. We're going right all in. Boom, 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 boom. Everything's connecting. Everything. Everything's fucking connecting here. Uh, speaking of Arrow, did you hear or did you read the rumor who's coming, what actor is coming to Arrow next season? Um, shit, I was talking to um, Brittany about it. I read it on Facebook. I forgot already. Who is it? Um, Tom Welling. Tom man. Welling. Tom is, Welling. Is he? Is he? Smallville coming? Superman right. himself. Yes. Is he coming? He's not in shape, so I doubt he's going to come. No, he's not in shape. No, 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 <laughs> no. We're not getting no. Clark Kent. We're not getting Smallville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, but no. But just the it, fact to have him there. Would yeah, be yeah. Because cool. people have been people have, people have been talking about it, and people have been wanting him to come on the show. Yeah. Or to come in any of the CW any of shows. Them. And you know, for a while there, they thought that when they did the Elseworlds crossover. I marked out with that too. They, they thought, they, yeah, they did. They tricked me like they actually asked them to be on it, and he said, and no. he said no. So that's okay. why they got fucking Tyler Hochin, yeah. Hochi, Hochi Min, whatever his Hochi. name is, uh, to play him with that god awful fucking suit. That suit is so. I am, <laughs> I am not a fan of that Superman suit. <laughs> with the fucking, it, it like he's not even big enough to wear the it suit. Bu- it man. bunches up. It, it bu- bunches up in the front, like he has cleavage, <laughs> like like titty cleavage too, not like pec <laughs> cleavage. Shazam did it way better, but Ooh. yeah, I don't give a shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Tom Wallen's coming on next season. They don't know. He confirmed it himself. Yes. And I think somebody else confirmed it that he is coming. Nobody knows what he's playing, who he's playing or whatever. Listen, I don't give a shit. As long as put him on there, put him on there, put him on there. Uh, what we'll, I didn't we'll, know. We'll even give you back your black trench coat just to make you happy. Yeah. We'll yeah, make you happy. The black okay? trench coat yeah. and the, uh, the gray t-shirt yep. <laughs> with the smoky S yes on it. Yeah. I actually own that t-shirt. You stopped rocking it or is uh-huh. it in your pile of shirts? Oh, it's in my pile of a thousand t-shirts t-shirt, that yeah, I, I have. Yeah. Say. yeah. 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 I can wear a t-shirt every day for the next six years and I wear the same t-shirt. Twice. Oh God. That's crazy. But, um, but yeah, I didn't know. And it's weird with the whole Elseworlds uh, crossover that they did. It was last year, right? Yes. Last year. Yeah. Cause we're already in 2019. They showed in the, the beginning scene when they showed uh, what's his face, old flash from back in the nineties when the monitor were John Wesley Shep, yep. when they showed, when the monitor was there and he was talking to him yes. and he was like, Oh, when they showed all those dead heroes mm-hmm. around, I don't know why I didn't notice it. But I probably cause and it was weird too. Cause they showed that same preview. Like, for all three the shows. And um, one of the dead heroes was the Green Arrow from Smallville. Really? Was one of the bodies. Yep. Oh, shit. I yep. didn't realize I did too. not know I that. I saw the Stargirl that she was there again. Yeah, Stargirl was on there, and there was a few other, other people that yeah. were in the know. They threw them in there as Easter eggs. But yeah, one of the Easter eggs that they threw in there was Smallville's Green Arrow. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, which was played by the, 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 the blonde-headed... That's pretty boy on that stupid was, show yeah. that makes everybody cry 
But yeah, that's uh, you know, Tom Welling. I'm oh. I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. excited, but I'm gonna hold my because again, he he disappointed us with Smallville, man. The season finale, the show finale, he disappointed us. He was in the fucking not, suit, not wanting to get he into did shape. he did the he did the S thing. And the, the the best we got as Superman was a was a CGI Superman. <laughs> oh, the silhouette on the plane, the reflection on yeah, the plane. That, yeah, that's it. That's that was all we got. Fucking dumb. Now um, in, sticking with yes. DC, I don't know if this is wrapped, but I guess the DC streaming service is already coming up with issues. Oh, they I don't know if it wrapped or they just pulled production on Swamp Thing, even though they released a teaser. They, oh, okay, they wrapped, so they wrapped it? it. They wrapped at ten, but now they're saying that it's the DC service, the the, the streaming service, is questionable if it's going to continue. Listen, man, everybody's coming out with all these streaming services yes. now. Everybody wants to be Netflix. Everybody wants, you know, what? It's going to come to the point where it's it, the the market. Actually, I already think the market's already oversaturated. Curated. The only and and they don't have enough content to. To warrant to stream. wet the appetite, like oh. like like right now, like CBS. CBS has their own streaming service. Yes, you know, right now their claim to fame. I mean, what do they have? They have Star Trek. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's Discovery. Yes, which I haven't watched yet because I don't. I'm not gonna get the app <laughs> just to watch that show. And then now they got the Twilight Zone. Yes, again, just based on the strength of those two shows, I'm not getting that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna <laughs> subscribe. You know, and, and and everybody's now coming out with their own their own thing. Disney, Disney can do it. D Disney, no. Disney's going to be the only one that is going to hit and probably destroy, not destroy Netflix, but they're going to give Netflix a run for their money. money. Oh, one hundred percent, because they own everything, pretty much, pretty much. So, and I think Disney owns fucking Hulu too. They do. They're they're so, subsidiary. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, between Disney, the Disney app, and fucking Hulu, they got everything. Oh yeah. So. You know, they, they are going to give Netflix a run for the money. Everybody else, I heard there's a Warner Brothers app coming out. Yes. You know, and, you know, so we got Warner Brothers. We got CBS. We got, you know, all these all other. Of, all of them. HBO has theirs. Um, I'm assuming Cinemax is going to come out HBO Go is fine, you know, but yeah, yeah. You know, Showtime had its own. Everybody at Cinemax, you're right. They have their own, but they're not going to make any money. It's going to it's gonna come to a point where it's just, it's just, some of them are going to die on the vine. Yeah. And... I'm not going to lie. When I first heard the rumblings about DC coming out with their own app, yeah. I was like, nah, it's not going to work. See, I, I was excited for it only because there's going to be a lot more, like all the DC content, all the animated movies, which they kill at, yeah. are going to be on there. So I'm like, that's cool. Yeah. You yeah. get it. They were going to invent new shows purposely for this, yeah. this app. The problem is, is that you can't get it normally like, like you can get Hulu or Netflix. You're right. It's not an app that you can like like WWE um network. Yeah. You can't just download the same to the PlayStation or the Xbox. You gotta have, I think, Amazon Prime or something yeah. to get it. Yeah, yeah. So that already people who don't have Amazon Prime, who don't want to get Amazon Prime, can't get that yeah. service. Yeah. So you're already shooting yourself in the foot. If mm -hmm. you had made it widely available, you'd probably have more people watching your content. Maybe. You know? So it's kind of like do like you can, I can get the app on my phone, but I don't want it on my phone. I don't want it either. Yeah, you know what I mean. You gotta get a web browser, or you get a browser. On yeah, I was like, to your TV. And come on, all that shit. I mean, uh, let me do it through my PlayStation Four. That's let what I want to do. Through, through, through my fucking DVD player. Let me do something <laughs> through my TV. Yeah, even. Yeah, no. I, yeah, no. I get what you're saying. That, that was kind of actually the same. That was kind of the problem that I had with uh, with Shutter. Okay. Which I love me some Shutter because, of course, I'm a big horror movie fanatic. But um, yeah, with Shutter, they have this um, this show called The uh, Last Drive-In with Joe Bob Briggs. Briggs yes. I had to get Shutter through Amazon Prime. I'm, okay. So I do have Shutter, yes. but all I have access to is all their on-demand shit. All the stuff that they do live, I can't watch. Because for some reason, through Amazon, I can't. I got to go on the internet itself and on a browser and oh, shit. set up a separate account and do it that way. So in that way, I can watch the live content. That's a pain in the fucking ass, I man. Can, I can, yes. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Five <laughs> bucks a month? I don't want to do that. Yeah, <laughs> it's just you know. So we'll see. I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if DC that the whole DC universe thing is going to last. It, it's it's already dying. It might it's, not. It, it's not. You know. I, I mean, so. speaking of Swamp Thing, I like the I like the teaser trailer. The teaser trailer was cool. It was cool. I mean, they had a lot of the concepts they were coming up with. The shows were interesting. It's like okay, yeah. this is good. You know, they're going to do an animated rated R Birds of Prey. Mm -hmm. Or no, is it Birds of Prey or Harley Quinn only? Well, I know Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn was going to be was going to be rated R. 
Yes. Uh, they were doing they were doing a Birds of Prey, but I, I mean, know, I know isn't, that, isn't that what they're doing with the the Harley Quinn movie? Yeah, the Harley Quinn movie is Birds of Prey. That's action, but that they were trying to do uh, R rated. Um, animated one for the, okay. for the app. I'm for it. They got Doom Patrol. Yeah, I don't um, even know how Doom Patrol is doing. Like I keep, I can't, I, I have, I have no, no. What's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? No motivation, to, no drive to what? Yeah, to see to watch any of these shows. Yeah, I see the advertisements all over the place, but I'm like, meh. That's it's okay. When you, when you ask me, like, have you watched Teen Titans? I'm like, no, because I can't get the app. So since I can't yeah. get the app, I can't yeah, watch yeah. the so show. Yeah, yeah. So we got, yeah, we got Titans, you know, yeah. and we got all that shit. Oh, speaking of Titans, Ooh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Another another segue. Uh, they have cast Batman. Batman. And Batman is being played by uh I don't want to fucking I don't want to fucking. Put your the name. name. Go ahead. Just go ahead. Uh, Ian. Ian? Ian Glenn. Okay. So, you know. Sir little, Mama, little, Sir Sir Mormont. Yep, a little, from, little uh, Game of Thrones. From Game of Thrones. There. Yeah, yeah. So now that's the Game of Thrones is over. Yep. Or I like to know him as uh, Khaleesi's bitch. Khaleesi's bitch. Who's been friend zone forever. Who got the scalies. Who's got the scalies. <laughs> he got the STD without getting any pussy. Yeah. That's fucked up, man. That's a strong ass fucking TD, man. <laughs> man. Yeah. And he got cured of the STD and he came back. Yep. And still ain't got shit. And still ain't getting shit. <laughs> she ended up fucking her nephew. That ain't that some shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's uh he got he got cast as Batman. So it's gonna be that older grizzled Batman yes. that we've never seen. So I don't know. Will I ever watch now, it? I don't know. Now, now <laughs> I remember how you're, you're a big fan of talking about stunt casting. Yes. If that is not proof positive in stunt casting. Yeah. Because they want, they want the Game of Thrones fans well, yeah, to cross man. over. Yeah. So of it's course. like, who can we get? Let's get this Game of Thrones guys. But, but, but can he do an American accent? We don't know. Just fucking get him. Just get him. Just, Just get, get him. him. Just Let's dye get his him. hair black. That's and it. Fucking go. That's it. Let's get all <laughs> Who's the guy with the fans? STD? We'll get him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, and you know, speaking of fucking Game of Thrones, premiered. Premiered and this past Sunday. Now, what did you think of the episode? I hear a lot of people bitching that for the premiere of that episode with only six episodes in the season, that that episode sucked. You know what? Those people suck. Thank and you. And actually, you know what? You guys, all three listeners <laughs> out there that we have. If you thought it sucked, you fucking suck. Stop listening right now and unsubscribe to our podcast. <laughs> no, 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 don't. Stay, stay, don't. stay, stay, stay. <laughs> just kidding. I love you. But no, man. It was just, yeah, I know. I, I've had a couple, I've had a couple of debates, heated debates with yeah. people uh, where they were like, uh, you know, oh, it was a boring episode. Oh, there, I wanted sex and I wanted people dying and I wanted blood. Motherfucker, man. You know, patience. Yes. yes. Patience. So much shit happened that episode. So much shit when happened. The, the one thing I didn't catch because I was just trying to, I want to pay attention to everything. Yes. That I caught on to later was when the brother that was in the wheelchair. Yeah, Bran. Bran was like, oh, I'm just waiting for an old friend. I'm like, is he calling the fat guy an old friend? Nope. And then when nope. I was, the, the ending, I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. They was, left it on a cliffhanger. Yes. Come on. So much stuff. Dude. So much stuff. Sam and Jon Snow reunited. Yep. Jon Snow and Arya reunited. Fuck it. I mean, it just said, uh, oh. John uh, rode the dragon. Come on. John rode a fucking dragon. Come now, on. mind you, that, seg that segment went on way too long. <laughs> All right? How to Train Your Dragon did it way better. <laughs> Shorter time and everything. I love that movie. <laughs> How to Train Your Dragon did it way better. But there was just so much stuff, man. It was, a, it was, it, it was good. It was, it, oh, God. Oh. I, I, oh. I love the episode. The I, episode was awesome. It, was it had a, a jump scare. You got to see, you know, some some characters that you thought died in the finale. Yep. You know, like uh, Tormund, mm -hmm. he came back. You know, it, it was it, it was it was good. Listen, fucking people, it's gonna it's gonna happen. You're gonna get all your shit. Most of the cast is gonna die anyway. Pretty much. The last episode. Pretty much. And as far I, I think, me myself, and I think I've said it before. But not on here. The person who's going to get the Iron Throne is going to be somebody that nobody expects. I agree. Nobody expects. I agree, one hundred percent. It's not going to be the Night King. It's not going to be. It's not going to be John. It's not going to be Daenerys. It's not going to be Tyrion. It's not going to be Cersei. It's not going to be Cersei's ass is getting fucking shanked by by Jamie. Ari. By Jamie, out by Ari. Let let her fucking kill her. Uh, Arya, you know, Arya's got her own shit that she's gonna she's gonna deal with. She's a badass. Fucking, ass. you know, Sansa's gonna fucking bitch slap fucking Daenerys. <laughs> It's just it's it's it everything's getting set up. Yes. 
And honestly, who I, mm, I think it's going to be somebody out of left field. What I think, one of the people that I think it's going to be Let's see if it's the same is, is the little girl. The other one. Really? The one that gave Jon Snow that shit. That yeah, she was book, like, listen, yeah. man, we made you fucking king. And you left. You left. <laughs> yeah. You came back fucking a bitch. <laughs> I think I, she's one of the people that I think is going to end up, up is going to end up on the Iron Throne. I know. Without giving so much away, give so much away, just give it. Um, no, if you haven't John, watched the premiere by now, the the actor John, the guy who plays um John Snow, yeah, he was interviewed on the Today Show, yeah, and they asked him, "How do you? Are you happy with where John Snow's character ends ended up or leaves off in the show?" And he said, "I'm satisfied," but then he said, "You can't satisfy everybody." Huh. So that is like, huh. hmm, huh. what happens? Huh. Does he have the chance to get the throne and he turns it down? Because Jon Snow is like, he's not really a king. He doesn't like the fact of king. He wants to be a warrior. He's more of a knight, a warrior, a protector. Yeah. You know what I mean? So in that, when he said that, I'm like, hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, I don't really have to say spoilers, right? Because no. I mean, we're fucking, we're almost a weekend. Everybody and, watched it. If everybody they didn't watch it, watch it. Watch it. If you didn't watch it, it yeah, go fuck yourself. Yeah. But. You know that <laughs> there was just so many, so many good scenes. Like, poor, you know, poor Sam, <laughs> poor fucking Sam, man. And my brother, oh, he was like, he was like, yeah. So I was, I was, you know, I'm, I'm of this house, and she's like, oh shit, I killed your dad. <laughs> and he was like, oh okay, well that's all right. I got my brother. I killed your brother too. That he poor stood, guy. He stood with your father. Yeah. <laughs> so like, oh, you know, oh. he's dead. I burned his ass. Oh, both okay. of their asses alive. And then. Sam turns around and tells fucking John that he's the rightful heir to the seven like, seven kingdoms, that he should be the fucking king. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he fucked his aunt. <laughs> <laughs> Which is just what? a look, just like he John Snow was pretty perplexed. Pretty much. He's pretty like, perplexed. I find this shit out now. Like now you're telling like me now? Fuck. Okay. All right. All right. But yeah, it was just it's it just it was such a good episode. But I, I I mean, I can't wait to see what happens. I can't wait to see how it ends. Um it's a shame it's only five episodes, but you know what that means? That means that each of these fucking episodes are going to be epic. Well, that's what there's one episode in there that it took them 55 nights to shoot. Uh huh. Because the battle scene, they said it puts Battle of the Bastards to, to shame. shame. Now, yep. mind you, I tell everybody I was not the Game of Thrones watcher mm -hmm. until you told me go watch Battle of the Bastards. Yes. That's going to make you want to Because I've been the trying, the I was trying to get you into this show for years. Yes. For oh. years, and you fought me on it every <laughs> goddamn season. Because I remember the first two episodes were just so fucking boring, and I'm like, uh, this is so slow. What's yeah, going on here? Yeah. It's like I'm watching something on the History Channel. Yeah. But yeah. then when I watched Battle oh, yeah, of the Bastards. You, you were part of the fucking snooby, snotty, fucking asshole 1%. <laughs> That's like, eh, am I the only one that's not excited about watching Game of Thrones? Get the fuck out of here, But let man. me tell you, when I saw Battle of the Bastards, like I, I tell everybody, especially Sorry, what IT guy, you're one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> especially the ending part when the dog, I'm like, I gotta go back. I yeah, gotta go back. That's what I said. As soon as I saw that episode and how epic that fucking episode was, that's why I went to you. I was like, start with that episode. And then once, from, once you watch that episode, that'll hook you. And just Tarantino that shit. And start from the beginning. Yes. Because then you'll see how everything added ended up there to that point. And, and speaking of, so you, so you can feel the journey. Once he did that and I watched the episode, I ended up binge watching about six seasons in like three weeks. Yeah. yeah. Even though he was telling me then to slow down. Yeah, slow down. Because <laughs> you're like, wait a minute. After this season, we're not going to have any more. Slow down. Take your time. No, I can't. I can't. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, 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 I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm gonna be sad when it's when it's gone, but whatever. All but the I, things I hit, end. Uh, see, At least they're gonna end on a high note. They're gonna end on the high note, and then they got they have like I think two or three spinoff shows already in development. I think there's like two spinoff shows two that shows, are supposed right? to take place like a hundred years before the events of okay. this this show. Okay, so yeah. So we'll see. You know, we'll see. You know what? I, we could talk about those shows when they fucking premiere. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. Uh, you know. Well, we'll just stay with this one right with now. The Game of Thrones for now. Uh, let's see what else I got. I actually I got some other news too. So. Speaking of remakes, mm -mm. Um, I don't know how I feel about this, seeing as this movie was already remade <laughs> recently, and it sucked Oh God. hard. Poltergeist. Come on. So I guess Poltergeist is getting remade again. Now, the only silver lining in that, that maybe there might be some hope, is that Joe and Anthony Russo <laughs> of Avengers Person. fame... 
are uh, are the ones that are going to be making remaking it. What do you think? I think the. I'm like you right ah, now. You're I'm like, I'm like, like me. There we go. Because I mean, from the last one, it from the trailers you looked at, and you're like, oh shit, it looks interesting. When you watch the movie, it fucking totally bombed. It sucked. Mm-hmm. I, I, it didn't catch me at all. There was nothing nostalgic about it that brought me back connection with the first one. Nothing. Yep. They had a fucking piece of shit, two bit ghost hunter who comes to the house and mm-hmm. he's a wise cracking asshole, mm-hmm. womanizer, some shit like that. I mean, the show, the movie just didn't make any sense for me. I didn't like it. Yeah. It, it pretty much, I think a remake should be somewhat on par with the with the original. Yeah, I mean, they tried to do the 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 clown bit. They tried to do which was did yeah. they do the tree thing? I don't even remember. I saw that movie there was one the time there, and I was so disappointed with yeah. it. I never watched it again. Nah, yeah. Uh, nah. They did the thing. Uh, Sam Rockwell was in it, wasn't yeah, he? Yep, he played the father. I love me some Sam Rockwell. Yeah, he played the father. And I mean, they they try to they try to redo the scene with the guy fucking tearing his face, face apart. Off. Um, and and you know that didn't even work. Like none of that shit worked. It was horrible. It, horrible. I, when they had the the, 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 the fucking, of course, because they got to add technology to remake. We're in a more modern age. So they send the fucking, um, what are those fucking things? The, the drones? The drone into the fucking spirit realm and it's yeah, yeah. showing all the, I'm like, come on. Yeah. No. Come on. So I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if they should be touching Poltergeist again so I, soon. Yeah. So I, soon after they just made a shitty remake. So the, that, that bad taste is still there. Yeah, but who knows? You know, uh, you know, fucking Avengers is 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 already on par to be like the highest grossing movie ever. Like it's if from what I read right now, based on the ticket sales, it's looking like it's gonna surpass Avatar. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> which is crazy. Uh which, you know, we're still fucking waiting for Avatar, Avatar two with ben you know, Diesel. two th- <laughs> two through nineteen. Oh, that God. <laughs> supposedly <laughs> James Cameron is filming. So I, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, eh, eh, eh. That, I'm not, I'm not, that's all. I'm like, eh. Yeah, I'm not, you know, you guys can't see us right now because we're not on video, but you know, I'm just shrugging my shoulders. I'm just, eh. Like now, speaking of just going back, I know this is, this is on your disco. I said, this is going back. I love disco. Um, this is actually for your other podcast, which is called the Terror Trio. The Terror Trio. Terror Trio. Yeah. Um, you can find it you, anywhere you listen to your favorite podcast. Wherever you, you listen to us, you can listen to them. Yes. You talking about remakes because you went to see the remake of Pet Cemetery. I did. How was that compared to <sighs> being a remake? Like, do you because you're a fan of the first one? I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the first now, one. How the second one? Were you a fan of the second one or just the first? Okay, well, here's the thing. All right, and uh, <laughs> 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 what I think I know is when you take that breath. <laughs> okay, you know. And it, Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm Cause not, I haven't not, seen it yet. I'm not gonna go in it. All, all I'm gonna say is, don't see it. I mean, okay. If you're wait, it's. I mean, you can't. I don't know. The movie's made almost a hundred million dollars, so <laughs> <laughs> there's people out there that are liking the movie. I'm not. I didn't hate the movie. Okay. Okay. My co-host on Territorial Micah goes on this huge rant about it, <laughs> about how many he detested that movie, <laughs> detested it. So bad that it made him physically ill. Oh shit! Episode nineteen of Terror Trio, check it out. That's he goes on this oh, huge damn. rant. Those are his feelings on it. Me, I was watching it the first twenty minutes or so. I was hating it because I was comparing it to the original, the original movie. movie. Okay, and I read the book. Yes. So once I stopped comparing it to the original movie, I thought it was an okay movie. movie. In terms of a pet summer, it was shit. It was shit. They made so many goddamn changes to the movie Ooh. and to the book. It was just, it was, it, it was bad. In comparison to the original movie and the book, yeah, awful, awful. John Lithgow, uh, you know, he played Judd. It was just, I love me some John Lithgow. Hey, yeah, I think John Lithgow is one of the preeminent, preeminent, eminent, preeminent, pre. Eminent. There we go. <laughs> Why is it every fucking episode? You have a word. There's one word that I can't fucking pronounce. <laughs> Jesus goddamn. But then Christ. when we're not podcasting on on a whim, you can come up with the most sophisticated word in uh, a conversation. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> yeah. So he, I think, I think he's one. He's one of the most. He's one of the most. What's the word I'm looking for? When you when you could do multiple roles. Um. Versatile. Versatile, yes. And he, I, I, Not I volatile agree. like you. <laughs> versatile. He's one of the most versatile actors out there. This dude could play anything. Underrated. Comedy, 
drama, drama, horror, horror you name it, anything, yep. anything. And he's agree. awesome at it. I was let down. Wow, I thought you were going somewhere else with that. I was <laughs> let down, man. Really? I was let down. It was just, it was just. You know what? It, it's probably again because I'm comparing it to, to the first Fred Gwynn. Yes, in the first one, and also for you that don't know, that's book. that's that's Fred Monster from the Monsters. Yeah, Herman Monster. Herman Monster. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, and and it just it just it just. Fred Gwynn just gave gave you know made made Judd fucking sensitive and angry and just yeah. like all the emotions like him crying and just it was just it was it, it was awesome it was just you can tell that that there was there was there was there was a a relationship a nice yes you know friendship there between Judd and Lewis in the original with Fred Gwynn with this one it, it almost felt forced mm. then. You know, they went they went into the into the new one. They took they spent way too much time on the wife and the whole Zelda fucking uh, side story Ugh. with that that whole bullshit. You know, of course, that was the one uh, every every non horror fan of Pet Cemetery yeah. always says the same thing. Oh, my God, that that that, that sister me and me. Yeah, that, that scared the hell out of me. That was that was that was the most terrifying part. No, it wasn't that she really had, she had fucking spina bifida. Yeah, <laughs> she had a crooked back. OK. You know, I, I mean, it was kind of it was kind of weird with that. Never get out of bed again. But yeah. you know, other than that, you know, it, it was it was a small part in the movie. For some reason, they dragged that shit out in this forever. Oh, then you know, well, the movie's been out for a few weeks, so I can I can you know I can I can I can, I can spoil it. You know, this time they didn't kill Gage. It wasn't the, it wasn't the baby that that that, okay. that died. It was the, the daughter. daughter, and the daughter comes back, and just it was just it was too much. The daughter talked too much. Um. You know the effects were okay. <laughs> Didn't Gage, Gage you know, in the original? He only said like "not fair." This is only the word he said. Listen, I want to play with you. <laughs> yeah. He only said like four lines. Yeah. You know this bitch four score and seven years ago. <laughs> I'm gonna kill your ass. Yeah, it's just, it the was speech, just the whole speech from Independence Day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Shit. She's dancing in the fucking living room while talking. It was just, it was just crazy. I mean, there was like a holy shit moment um, at the end where you know. Lewis looks like he's gonna kill her, and then the fucking wife comes back, and the wife kills him, Ooh. and then pretty much, I, you know what? I'm just gonna ruin the movie. Everybody dies, <laughs> and everybody comes back. Holy shit! <laughs> hey, except Judd. Judd is dead. <laughs> they, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ellie fucking killed Judd's ass. They did the whole. They did the whole gag with the the cutting of the Achilles yeah. heel, like they did in the original. Oh, okay. This so is a little gorier. Oh. Um. But she didn't fucking chew his face off like Gage chewed yeah. uh, Judd's face in the original. But that that's about it. It was just, it was just, it, it was just, I don't know. It was, See, that's it was what, that, too inconsistent. It was too many changes. And, and you know, fucking uh, 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 Pascal, you know, him also. They just, they just, in the first movie, he was, you know, he had a, a ton of lines. Yeah. And, you know, they had, they, they, they had that whole backstory. And then the whole story with him trying to get, Trying to get the wife to come back from New York. To, the whole thing in the first you know, one, because and the, you know the the the, the soil is sour. And yeah, all that shit. And you know, even up to the very end, when he's Lewis is taking his wife, and he's like, no, oh, no, no, no. He's like, no, no. It's a, she'll come back this time. He's like, no, no, no. Like all that. This time, he's like, hey, don't go over there. <laughs> oh, you're going over there. All right, I'll see you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know, it's just, it was just, you know, and then they, and then they cast it with this with this black dude, and you know, and I'm not racist, but. <laughs> Couldn't they have picked somebody else to 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 play Pascal? Like this dude looked like the Somali pirate from Captain Phillips. Oh, <laughs> look at me. That's exact. I was waiting for him to go. Lewis, look at me. I'm the captain now. Okay, don't go over there. <laughs> Shit. This is the captain talking. Yeah, <laughs> just I just I, it was just ah uh, uh. See, so it just that, I don't know. I that's didn't... that's what I'm saying. That's why I feel the same way when you you know going back to what we talk about Poltergeist because I think with remakes they just fucking it's that we can do it better. Then they did it, yeah, and they take too many fucking liberties. But yeah. that's why the first the first remake of like, hey, what you're talking about now with Pet Cemetery, which again, if you're a horror fan, everybody knows about Pet Cemetery, yeah, you know, or even if you're not, you've seen fucking Pet Cemetery at some point, yes. And this one, like you're saying, it's it wasn't really true. Now it wasn't true to the original movie and to the book, both like, correct. So it just fucking flunked on both. It did parts. his own thing, yeah, yeah. So again, that with Poltergeist, I mean, Poltergeist was a big horror franchise when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Part one and part two were good. Part three mm-hmm. just kind of fucking went on its kinda, own. Yeah, <laughs> the whole building yeah, shit. Yeah. I never got that. Yeah, uh, but part one and two were awesome. Part two with the fucking preacher. Yes, they're all gonna die. 
die. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he didn't sound like that, but it was like, you're all going to die. I can't do fucking impressions. <laughs> you're all going to die. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that, that freaked me out when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and then he just looks at her. And I didn't know it. I found the older the guy was dying from cancer. That's why he looked so fucked up. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> so, Poor guy. I know. He was terrifying. But it, it, hey, stunt casting. Fuck it. That's it worked. Fine. That's it fine. worked. But again, I think they're going to take even more liberties with it now because the first remake sucked. With Here's the thing. With remakes, you can't, you can't do a shot for shot remake. Uh, 100% agree. You can't do that because look at the look at the epic failure with uh uh Gus Van Sant did a shot for shot remake of Psycho with Ooh, Vince Vaughn yeah. and Anne Hache like yeah. years and years ago. Yeah. That shit fell flat. Flat. <laughs> it was terrible and that didn't work. But also you can't totally go away from the source material so much that the story and everything is unrecognizable from what yeah. you remember. Footloose. Let's not talk about that. Arthur. Let's not talk All about that. All of those remakes, like you said, they didn't stay. Nightmare on Elm Street. I just, Ugh. it's just Friday the 13th. You know, it was just. <laughs> we could keep naming. We could keep going. We could keep going. There hasn't been. Let me see. I mean, in terms of remakes, have we talked about this yet? I, uh, in terms of remakes, the only, the only remake. In recent memory that I've seen that I think holds up to, or I I even say it might say it's better than the original, is The Hills Have Eyes. Okay. The remake to The Hills Have Eyes Eyes. is awesome. Awesome. Yes. The sequel to the remake to The Hills Have Eyes (laughs) was awesome. Hills Have Eyes, Hills Have Eyes Part 2, classics. Yes. They were good, disturbing, fucked up. Very fucked up. I think the remakes are better. So that's it, really. Much, there yeah. Any other fucking remakes, any other remakes that I can't, I don't, yeah, I can't think of anything else where it, even if it was on par. And that's, that's what, that's, that's the thing that kind of upset, upset me about Pet Cemetery was that that's all I was hoping for. I was, all I was hoping for is that at least if it was as good as the original. Just keep it on the same level. Not even, not even be better. Yeah. Not even be better. And I think that's, that's what the problem is, is that, you know, a lot of these writers and directors and shit and producers, they wanna they wanna one up. Yeah. They're like, oh shit. You like you like this? You like Miracle on 34th Street? Wait, I don't know why. Well, how'd you up. pick that one? <laughs> you like Wizard of Oz? Here we go. You like Wizard of Oz, beloved classic? Fuck this. We're gonna up the ante. We're gonna make it ten times better. <laughs> We're gonna change the whole story. Fuck a tornado. It's gonna be an earthquake. <laughs> Fuck going up in the sky. You're going down to the middle of the earth. Oh god. No, it's just it's just not gonna work. It's just not gonna work. I mean, there's just I don't know. We'll see. It's not going to stop Hollywood from making remakes. No, it's not. It's the not. only reason that you're, they're making these remakes is because that you know it, they're just going by brand recognition and they're just banking on fans of the originals, originals. like you and I mm-hmm. are going to be like, oh shit, okay, let's check this out. I remember this from from my childhood. Yeah, let's check this out. Hence, Child's Play. That's all they. That's the only thing. There's absolutely nothing. There's there's no story or anything that remotely resembles the original Child's Play. No, yes. So we'll see. We'll see. I mean, you know, I always take a wait-and-see approach. So far, <laughs> the results have not been kind. That's why That's why, that's, that's why the wait-and-see approach is like, eh, fuck it. Yeah. Um, also, I don't know if you saw, are you a fan of Luke Bassan movies? Come on, Luke Bassan, man. The professional... Fifth Element. I mean, I like the Fifth Element. I like the Professor because the Professional is this fucking awesome movie. That's such a good movie. that has so many such a iconic good movie. like scenes from yeah. that fucking movie. Yeah, that. Yeah, he kind of he kind of he kind of hiccuped with uh, Valerian, the City of a Thousand Planets. Well, that's that's one of your favorite movies. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was so let down with that movie. You I was know. so excited because that could have been that could have been. I love Fifth Element. Yes, Fifth Element is one of probably one of my top movies. I mean, Bruce Willis is in it. I'm not a huge Bruce, Bruce Willis, Willis fan, Willis. but Mila Jovovich. Whoa. <laughs> all right. I'm all about that. Um, but Valerian City of Thousand Plans, I think, it, it, again, with the casting, he fucked it up yeah. with that fucking Cara, blah, 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 the fucking hairy eyebrows <laughs> and Dane DeHaan. You know, uh, they're both awful actors, and I didn't like the movie because of them, and it was just terrible. Yes. But he's coming out with a new movie. 
There's a it's a movie called Anna. Ooh. <clears throat> I don't know if you've seen the preview for it yet. I haven't seen the preview for it yet. Stars uh, Luke Evans and Cillian Murphy, who I've wondered what the fuck Cillian Murphy's been doing. doing. I think I I mentioned it like a week or two ago. I was like, Cillian Murphy hasn't done anything in a really long time. And sure enough, poem. He pops up in this, uh, this trailer. And my gilf forever, Helen Mirren. Mirror, okay. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. It's another, basically, it looks like it's a fucking French female John Wick. John Wick. Okay. Yep. It's this blonde model type chick, you know, unassuming, and she's a fucking hit hit girl. Oh, okay. And just there's this action, there's killings, there's all sorts of shit. There's hot people, there's there's high fashion, there's Helen Mirren. <laughs> high fashion. It looks good, man. It looks good. So, you know, I'm stoked about it. I'm I'm I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of all of Luke's but Luke Basson shit. So um I can't wait. I can't wait to see that. You know, it's uh it, hopefully it'll be better than Atomic Blonde. That movie was so bad. You know what? It was, uh, it was all over the fucking place. It dude. was all over the place, but I'm a James McAvoy fan, and I'm a lifelong Charlize Theron fan. I know. That bitch is not age at all. But and Damn. But yeah, yeah, it was, it was, because that's what Atomic Blonde tried to, tried to be. It tried to be like a female John Wick. Like, everybody's on, on the John Wick, Wick fucking, oh, yeah. oh, on the John Wick dick. Right oh, yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Is there, isn't there a show, there's a show that started on Hulu with something similar to that shit. Uh, you talking about younger. Hannah. Hannah. That, that's in the movie. That's right. Hannah, Hannah was a movie. movie. Yes, yeah. yes. Well, yeah, she was with, like uh, a, with Schwarz, a, Schwarz, Schwarz, Shit, I forgot how, how do you Schwarz, say Schwarz, Schwarz, It's a Schwarz Ronin. May, may the Schwarz be with Schwarz, you. Schwarz, Schwarz, I know it's 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 spelled like soiree, so, but it's it's pronounced Schwarz, 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 Schwarz. I don't know. I think she's Irish too, because she's got a thick accent. accent. Thick accent. Um, but she's in all these other movies and she's always She's always uh, uh, getting like nominated for, for Oscars for and all sorts of shit. And I don't think I've I've ever seen I've never seen anything with her in it except for the movie Hannah. Hannah that's it, which was awesome. I, have you ever seen it? Yes, I did. Yes, with her and Eric Bana. Yep. The the first Hulk. The first. Uh, yeah, yeah, terrible. Yeah, but um, but yeah, they're making that or they're coming out with that show. Okay. I think it's on Amazon Prime. Is it on Amazon Prime? Hulu, or Hulu? Amazon Prime. One of the two. One, no, of, those one two. of the two. One of the I two. Mean, it looks it looks promising. Um, going away from all that stuff, I, I hear, like how you did that little hand gesture, yes, like a wave. a wave. So going a wave, I see what you did there. <laughs> uh, the new Ghostbusters, the the movie. Yeah, what about it? The start date to production got pushed back. Oh, did it? So we're, we're they're already running into issues. Great. Like someone who's causing the issues, they got to push that fucking date back. <laughs> I'm gonna say Bill Murray. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you're a fucking diva. Maybe maybe he's like like what you said. You don't want to see geriatric geriatric um, Ghostbusters. I don't want to see like, geriatric Ghostbusters, but you know whatever, man, whatever. I did you by any chance catch Hellboy? I did not catch Hellboy. Okay, because and neither did a lot of other people. Yes. But don't boom. Yeah, <laughs> I heard it was not a good. That movie bombed. Yes, huge, huge. And I know why. I mean, I went and saw it. Okay. And it was not good. <laughs> it was not good. Being a fan of the Guillermo del Toro, you know, first couple of movies, uh, Hellboy, and then what was the other one? Golden Army. Like Golden Army. I love those movies. Yes. Ron Perlman, like you know, it was just, it was, just, it was, it was so good. This movie was just uneven, haphazard. It was, it was, it was, it was bad. It was just, I couldn't. I, I think they did it just, just to do it. Because remember, though, at that time, there was a lot of, of interest online. Ron Perlman yeah. started talking about doing another yeah. Cowboy movie, and everybody's like, yeah. Guillermo gonna... had a script for the third one, ready to go, because he planned it as a trilogy. Yeah. And... But the first two movies didn't make enough money. That's what it is. The second movie did it. I think the second movie made less money than the first, first movie one. did. And so they were like, fuck it. Well, because at the time, I mean, I would think now Hellboy is a more known character. <laughs> not based on this fucking yeah, movie. I would say, yeah, because not based on this movie, because what they did is they 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 fucking shoehorned three different comic storylines into one movie. Into one movie, and they expected you to just know what was going on. I didn't. I've read I've read maybe a handful of Hellboy comics. I think I've read two. Yeah, I, two. yeah. See, I've read I've read I you know I, I've read a, like one of the storylines I knew about, and okay. that was actually and they did it in the first movie, the first Hellboy yes, movie. Okay. They did the whole the whole storyline with Rasputin and yes. you know bringing them and all that stuff, um, but yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> like there's a character, there was a character in the, in this new one here. I, I fucking I'm gonna spoil it because nobody's gonna go see it anyway. <laughs> um, like there's this character uh, called Baba Yaga, 
in oh, it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Those so, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, you know, he goes, he gets abducted by Baba Yaga, and she starts talking to him, and she just starts telling him all this shit that you did to me, and you, I lost my eye, and this, that, and the other thing. They don't explain shit. It'll be like, hey, man, I don't like you. You hit me. You know why. <laughs> Okay. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> you know, don't explain or anything because you know there's an audience watching. Yeah, nothing. It was just it was just weird. And then you know there's an end credit scene. There was a there were, there's two end credit scenes. And you know the, the the last end credit scene set it up for a sequel, which we'll never see. Yeah. Um. But it was Baba Yaga talking to another character, and they don't show the character. And you know the character's like, you know, I need to fucking kill Hellboy. I need to fuck Hellboy up. And, you know, she's like, yeah, Hellboy screwed me over, too. So, you know, once we once we get him, I'll give you what you want, which is to die finally, which if you're a fan of the comics, then you know who that character is. Mm -hmm. Like, I know who the character yeah. is. It's Rasputin. Yeah. But, you know, it, it's just it just, you know, you I, I was in the theater and people were like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm, All right. They're like, who is that? <laughs> of course, me. Nope. nope. I, you know, I wasn't I wasn't. No, no, I was. No, no. Again, when, just, when I when I found out that it wasn't going to be uh, Ron, per Ron Perlman, yes, okay, was put on this earth to play two characters, <laughs> Beast from Beauty and the Beast, yeah. which he played epically in the eighties. Yes, he did. Okay, yes, he did. And Hellboy. I think that's his, that's his, stay in your wheelhouse, dude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For them not to pick him and have him play the character again, I mean, he did an awesome job with it. He looks like fucking Hellboy. That's what I'm saying. It's like. It, Literally, his face is Hellboy. <laughs> his, I mean, his face is pretty much Cro Magnum, man. But yeah, <laughs> which he did play a, a, a caveman. He did. He did in Quest for Fire. Yeah. But so again, just, I, I wasn't interested. I'm like, and not I wasn't interested. I wasn't captivated. So like, oh, I gotta go see this movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? It didn't jump at me. Yeah. Because yeah. it's, the, it's the guy who played the sheriff in um, David Stranger Harbor. Things. Yeah. yeah, Stranger Things. So who he played Hellboy? Awesome. Like I, I liked it. Okay. I liked it. But it was just, it was just, it was just too much and uh, uh, too much going uh, on. You know, I like David Harbor. I like fucking Mila Jovovich or Jovovich, <laughs> if you're a scumbag. Um, and Ian McShane. Yes. Come on, man. Ian McShane is awesome. It was just, it just all fell flat. It all fell flat. So I, mm, 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 mm. that's it. And I guess, uh, you know, I was reading online that you know Mila Jovovich or Jovovich is just bitching and fucking and just dropping f-bombs on the critics that are that are blasting the movie Oof. it was a bad movie yeah it was a bad movie what was that 14.3 million and i think what, what was the what was the budget wasn't the budget like 50 million or 56 million 50 Oof. yeah you're not so, even in the ballpark dude no okay but yeah but still it's a it's not gonna make its money back it's definitely not going to no, make his money, money back. back. That, that, that's, hey, chuck that one up as a loss. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's going to be another one where, and again, and again, and then, and then again, and again, it's one of those movies that, and I hate it when movies do this shit, that they're so full of themselves that they that they set up a cliffhanger where they're like, you're going to like this shit. We're going to make another, another one, one for you. <laughs> no, you're not, motherfucker. That's it. No more Hellboy. Fuck you and your Hellboy version. Fuck you okay? and your Hellboy. Stick that horn right up your ass. Um. Coming back full circle onto where we started talking about, which is uh, the DC universe, um, you see that Krypton has already gotten is getting ready for season two on Sci-Fi. Okay, you know you don't you didn't watch the first season? No, At none of them. None. Wow. None. I watched. I guess no, no, I, I watched. No, I'm lying. I watched the first episode of the first season. I watched the first season. Remember, I kept asking you, so yes. how's Krypton? So how's Krypton? Yes. So how's Krypton? And one of my friends is in Krypton. So, I mean, you should think that, you know, even supporting, I, I would watch no, it. he's talking no. about the show, not the real planet, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Krypton is, <laughs> yeah. Come on. I guess because the season two trailer, they hint at Lobo. They have a picture of Lobo being in the, in the show and that's now. that's what I heard. I heard that Lobo's yeah. going to be introduced, but, you know, they'll probably fuck Lobo up like no, they, they fuck will. everything else they up. Will. So, you know, because then, then they have, who they had? They had Brainiac on the, the first Brainiac season, Brainiac was, right? the main, was the main villain, was Brainiac. Okay. Um, Adam Strange was one of the persons who who went back in time or went you know over to Krypton to save Superman, all that other shit. Yes. Um, but the main villain was Brainiac, and then at the end was um Doomsday. That's right. That's right. Doomsday. Yes. You were talking about that. So you know, 
whatever. You're going to watch it. You can tell me how it is. <laughs> I'll watch it. I'll watch it. Just, again, he's, I just want to see how they're going to tie in everything. Because, again, it's like you don't see much of the House of L or anything. It's uh-huh. like very... It stands alone. It stands off as a good sci-fi show. Yeah. But as far as Superman goes, it's very little, like just small little hints here and there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not a lot to to kind of say, oh, yeah, you watch it. It's a Superman show. Yeah. Well, you know, well, we'll see. You can, uh, you can, uh, you can tell me. You can tell me how it is. Uh, I have one little last bit of news, which I'm I'm not even excited about this because I think he's a horrible actor and I don't think he's going to, he's going to rise to the level a stardom that the rock or even Batista uh, is getting at. But uh, rumor now is that <sighs> WWE's John Cena mm. is in talks to join suicide squad too. Yes. I read As that. who? I don't know. I don't know. Random guy who gets killed. You know, you know, if, it, if, it, if his role is, you know, as bad as he was in Bumblebee. Oh, um, hey, John Cena, we need a guy to play John Cena. I'm your man. He's terrible. He's fucking terrible. I'm your man. He's fucking terrible. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know why they keep casting him in movies. Again, I get it. It's stunt casting. They're trying to get the fans over. But yeah, I don't. I don't you're know. acting. It, you suck, dude. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, he even tried to go the route of The Rock by doing dramatic roles. He tried. He tried. And even those suck even worse than your action movies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hang I, him up. Hang him up. That's it. He needs to. He needs to stop. And you know what's what's fucked up is that Hollywood's still gonna give him roles, of course. And I don't think it's. I don't think he'll ever reach that leading man no. status that The Rock has or Dwayne Johnson. Yes. You know, AKA if you're Dwayne snob. Johnson. This is snob. Uh, you're not a wrestling official. He'll, he'll always be The Rock to me. But yeah, I I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't get it. I don't understand. It's just. It's just he has no acting talent whatsoever. Mm-mm. None. Because if that's the case, Hollywood, call me. <laughs> call me. Here's my phone number. <laughs> Come on. I can act circles around John oh, Cena. God. Jesus Christ. I'll work out a little bit. I'll get some abs. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I think if, if, if even with John Cena and Batista, if you ask me, the only two wrestlers who ever go down history as being successful actors with as far as box office numbers and stuff like that will be Hulk Hogan and the rock. Cause Hulk Hogan, when he did no holds barred, that did awesome. That for, it's movie back in its day. It did good. I, I don't agree with you. Well, you <laughs> on the whole Hulk Hogan thing. Hulk Hogan, a lot of his movies, when they first came out, they were shitty, but they remember they were marketed to kids. A lot of his movies. What are you talking about? I mean, the only thing I remember is No Holds Barred. Yeah. I remember Thunder in Paradise. And Suburban that's... Commando. Who? Suburban Commando. And there you go. You never see that one? <laughs> you might as well just name it The Chaperone. <laughs> yeah, no. 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 Wow. No. What I said, the movies that he did were geared more towards the younger fan. Yeah. So that's why they did so well. See, they didn't do that well. They did. The which one? Gremlins 2. Gremlins 2. <laughs> His cameo in he Gremlins did, He did too. one of the, the three ninja Which movies. Which was awesome. Did he really? Yes. When yeah. He cut no. his hair. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Well, Rocky Mr. 3, Nanny. yes. That's that's only because it was a Rocky movie. Yeah, it was a Rocky movie. Yeah. <laughs> he got a co-star you know, role in that. And, that. and that was around the time. That was, that, it was based on the strength of that movie that Hulkamania started running wild. Yeah. Thunder in Paradise. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah, I said Thunder in Paradise. But yeah. I forgot about Mr. Nanny. Yeah, he's on, he's in a couple of movies, yeah, yeah. but um, but he's not. But you put him up there with like The Rock. Absolutely not. As far no, I'm saying as absolutely far as, not. No, The Rock has surpassed him 100. The, the Rock, Rock has does, surpassed a lot of people. Yeah, The Rock does more. I mean, The Rock tried going. I think The Rock is actually surpassing Short. Oh yeah. You say what? You, did you say what? Did you say Schwarzenegger? Oh, okay, Schwarzenegger. I thought you threw the N word in there just to push. You know why I did goes. it? <laughs> I swear. Stop it. <laughs> I why did I put some bass in my voice? <laughs> no, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just edit that out just in case. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be sorts of beep. <laughs> <laughs> but again, it, it's like the, they're, they're totally different like demographics for their movies. Who? Between Hulk Hogan and The Rock. And I think The Rock even said in an interview when he was asked, when he first started getting into like the Fast and the Furious stuff, yeah, yeah. you can't compare our demographics. Hulk Hogan made movies back in the, in the late 80s, early 90s, mm-hmm. geared towards kids. 
because that's where the market for wrestling was. It was basically towards kids. But I mean, even, if, movies, even if you go that, even if you go that route, though, you know, Tooth Fairy. Um, what was, what was the other? What was the other movie? The Game Plan. Uh, game Plan. You know, those movies. Those were Disney movies. They were geared towards kids, and they made. And I, I'm willing dollars to donuts bet. Ooh, donuts that. <laughs> Those movies did more than Hulk Hogan's movies made. Probably. Nowadays, yeah, probably. Again, the only thing Hulk Hogan's known for, Rocky Three, fucking No Holds Barred, Barred, and Thunder in Paradise. Which Thunder in Paradise, was that even a movie or was it a TV it show? It was a movie that they made into a TV they show. They made it into a TV show. Okay, yeah. so yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Hulk Hogan. But I'm going to say, Sorry. This, now they're throwing, like I said, now they're trying to throw John Cena into the mix. And even Batista, I, I mean... Batista's good as Drax, but now he's got this, his own standalone movie coming, but he's by himself. He plays like a spy. Yeah, it's Stuber. I'm like, mm, there, there's that one is another one he's got coming out. Yeah, he's got another one coming out. Where, like I said, this one, he's with the, the Uber guy. Yep. And there's one that he uh, goes to some school or something, and he's like a spy, and the girl teaches him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ask him to teach her how to be, how to be a spy and shit. Which, I don't know. I, he's not going to, well, I don't know. I like Batista, so it's just I, you know, you know, I like him as Drax. I like him, and plus he he, he it's smart though. What he, the way he's doing it is smart. He's getting he's getting smaller roles in bigger films. Yes, mind you, he's running this fucking Marvel. Oh, to the into the popularity. Ground. Oh yeah, into the ground. He is riding that train till the wheels fall off, and that's what anybody I would do that mm-hmm. shit. Uh, what was that? Fuck, what was that movie with uh, Jodie Foster? With the hotel. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Hitman, yes, yes. And he was like the orderly. Yep. He was in that. He was awesome in that. Like everything I see them in, he was in the Blade Runner sequel, he was Blade Runner 2049. Yeah, he was one of the replicants yep. in the beginning of the movie, a small part. He had maybe five, 10 minutes of screen time, but you know, he, I, he I, you know, he can act. He's staying he relevant. He's staying busy in there. He's I'll like, tell you what, a, he's way better than John Cena. No, 100%. Way better than John Cena. 100% better. So there you go. All right. So is that it with the news? Yeah, that's it. All right, we're done with the. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of fucking news. That was a lot of. There's a lot of shit that happened, man. Yeah. A lot of shit seems to be going up there. Um. All right, so now with Endgame coming, yes, which is later. Was it next week? Next week. Next week it comes out. A week from today. Yes. Yeah. I can't fucking wait. Well, we normally record on Thursdays. Yes. Uh, our episodes drop on Mondays. Yes. So, yes. Oh, can't wait. So when you hear this, uh, Avengers will be three days away. Yes. Yes. Um, I guess this is the end. So now starting phase four. Okay. I didn't realize, again, maybe it's just me not paying attention. But the first movie into phase four is Spider-Man Far From Home. That's going to set the pace for phase four. Is it really? Mm-hmm. Okay. As Kevin Feige or Feige, Feige says... That Spider-Man um, Far From Home is the Did start. you call him Kevin Fage? That's what, because again, I've seen interviews <laughs> where people are like, yeah, so Kevin Fage, I'm like, how do you pronounce this guy's name? Feige. Feige or Fage? Guys make I up mean, your I mean, I've heard Feige. I mean, uh, you know, the consensus. Ah, uh, okay, okay, so there, so we, there we go. go. Yeah. We're going with that. There you go. Um, the one thing, again, I don't know how you feel about it. I know we kind of talked briefly about it, hmm. that with this, again, obviously, um, Robert Downey Jr. is not coming back for Iron Man. What'd you call him? Robert Downey Jr. Oh, I thought you said Marvin Downey Jr. I'm like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously, he's not coming back. Chris, Chris Evans, Evans isn't coming, coming back. back. Like, a lot of them aren't coming back. Um, Chris Hemsworth, it's up in the air whether he's coming back he or not. He said he would be open to coming he back. He said he would be open, but, you know, who knows? Yeah. Uh, again, we're not going to know until we see Endgame who's coming back and who's not. Exactly. Um, going forward, I do we... Um, Kevin. Feige. Feige hinted at the person that's going to be the, the, the main center in the universe is going to be your favorite, Captain Marvel. Ugh. So she's going to be the base of the Marvel Universe going forward. Great. It's not going to be Captain... Well, pretty much Iron Man was the whole common Iron, thread about the whole movies, right? Yeah. He's the one tied it all together. This one's going to... Now it's going to be Iron Captain Man. Marvel. Iron Man started it off. Iron Man was pretty much... Yeah, he was, he was, he was a thread through, through all of them. Then Captain America. So then it was like Captain America and Iron Man together. Yes. But now since they were both like de facto leaders of the Avengers going back and forth. North. But which is why, you know, Civil War happened. Yes. But uh, yeah. So now so now since the Avengers are, are captainless or leaderless, 
then yeah, yeah, yeah. She's going to be the focal point of the Avengers from here on out till, you know, the next storyline, which nobody knows what the next storyline is. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. The only thing that they know that are the movies that are coming on the pipeline, like I said, is Spider Man um, Far From Home is the start of, of the fourth introduction into the Marvel Universe. Yep. Um, and then, of course, you got Volume 3 of Guardians of the Galaxy. Yep. Black Panther 2, which. Yeah. I guess they switched it. That's where Namor is going to come out now. Namor. Namor. Yeah. <laughs> three episodes now. Yeah, three. <laughs> Mispronouncing this dude's name. Um, originally, they wanted him to be in um, Doctor Strange, but they switched it to Black Panther. Okay. Um, they got Doctor Strange Part 2. Yep. And then a lot of shows, because since Disney's launching that their yeah. streaming service, streaming which up. starts November 12th. I can't wait. At $6.99 a month. $6.99 or $6.95 a month. month, yeah. I know they you got my money. They got the whole. Disney, they already have my money. They have the whole Disney library on that fucking thing. Yeah. Um. They're gonna launch shows. The shows that they've launched so far that they've talked about that I've heard is they're doing a Hulk and She Hulk show. <laughs> really? Yes. With Mark Ruffalo. So Mark Ruffalo is gonna be gonna play the Hulk. Gonna be an Incredible Hulk. Yes. Don't and know who. Don't know who they that cast She Hulk yet. Cast She Hulk yet. So is She Hulk good? I want. I wonder if She Hulk's gonna be CGI. She's gonna have to be CGI, like uh, Hulk is. Yeah. I mean, because there ain't no big bitches out there. <laughs> <laughs> big enough to play She-Hulk. No, 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 no. Wow, okay, okay. So that, that's one that they've announced. They have um, Winter Soldier and Falcon. Okay. Which is coming out. The and one, all the ladies love Sebastian Stan, man. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's, just, it's that hair. You got a little hair. ebony and ivory, though. You got the, you got the white guy <laughs> and you got the black guy. The black guy. All right. Both the black Captain, guy has wings. The, the Captain America sidekicks. And the white guy has a fucking wait, metal wait. arm. There you go. The things he's going to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> Use your imagination. Lots of fingering. <laughs> Lots of fingering. Um, he doesn't even batteries either. It probably vibrates. <laughs> <laughs> and um, twists and turns. The one that I don't like the name of it, and I'm Heats hoping up. they come up with a better name for this fucking show. I hope this is not the name of it, because it sounds like a Willy Wonka fucking thing, is WandaVision. WandaVision. It's Wanda and the Vision. They're going to do a show about them. Because Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch and the Vision. Okay. But it's called WandaVision. So the, the non-Olsen twin and... Fuck, I forgot his name. The guy who's I forgot his name too. Shit. Uh, that played that plays Vision. Vision, yes. They're getting their own show. So we're getting pretty much all these, I mean, A list and B list actors are really going all, to all slum it they're, they're, and do TV shows. They've all 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 have signed on. So then I'm assuming these are limited series then. These are these aren't gonna be like multiple season series like uh like a Daredevil or Jessica Jones or anything like that. I don't, Agents of Shield. I don't know what the, these are. The one that they've announced that everybody signed on for that they're on 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 board for. Yeah, I don't know how many seasons they're going to be. If they're going to be like they also have short, a Loki show coming out too. They have a Loki show coming out. Uh, yes, also. So I don't know if these are going to be. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, you're excused. <laughs> short mini series here and there. They're going to do. That's what I'm saying. Limited series where it's like where it's a, like a limited six to ten episode. Yeah, and then boom, that's it. It's a one off. Because I know also Hawkeye and. Um, Black Widow getting their own show. What? 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 Really? Yes. I don't like that. Yeah. And all of these are going to tie into the movies going forward. Which that's fine, but I, it, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. Why? I don't know how I feel about this. You know how the whole, yeah, weren't we talking about saturation before? Like, it's just, it's, it's, it's too much, man. It's too much. It's too fucking much. First off, Black Widow and Hawkeye. And you know what? This is probably going to be an unpopular opinion. And I've probably said it before. And I've said it a million times. Are the two of the most worthless 